Why are burglaries such a nasty crime? Well, they're an appalling crime, and as a victim three times uh, living in London, I, I'm appalled at these figures, and something needs to be done urgently. Um, we need to target those known burglaries. And do you know, the average burglar has over 60 convictions. It's not beyond the realm of reason that we target these people. But then when you get them before the court, the court actually sentenced them to decent uh, sentences, and we keep them at least away from the rest of us for a few years. But again, there are two groups. There are the juvenile groups who target uh, housing estates, council estates, and then there is the professional burglar. It takes at least three convictions for them to get at least three years. That's if they catch them. And the success rate is about 3.1. The conviction rate, actually sentencing rate, is about 2%. It is appalling. So we've got to say we have a crisis in the legal system. They're all entitled to all kinds of rights. But you and I, as victims, have bigger rights. And it's a time we said to the sentencing council, to judges and all the rest of us, lock them up, please. Uh, Jerry Hayes, you will have known about the political pressure from the public on the government to do something about burglaries. It is an egregious crime. It's an emotional as well as a commercial crime, isn't it? But as a criminal barrister, do you think that we've got a crisis of justice when it comes to burglary? Well, we've got a crisis of justice because the criminal justice system has fallen apart through lack of, lack of funding. I'll give you an example. Yesterday, I was, and I prosecute as well as defending, I was defending a very serious case uh, in a London court. I'll say no more than that. Um, I wanted to go down and see the client. I'd never met him before. That's fair enough. That happens. But I would have had an hour to chat things over with him. I was told by Serco, no, I couldn't see my client because they've got a staff shortage. So they banned all legal visits. Then I go upstairs. Let me go and see my opponent, who was the prosecution barrister. No, they couldn't find one. There wasn't one available. And this is what is happening. This is what is destroying uh, the criminal justice system. Everyone's moving out. There's not enough judges. There's not enough courts. There's not enough barristers. That is the first problem. What Di was saying, with respect, Di, it's not true about, about not locking them up. You do lock them up. To say that the average burglar has got 60 convictions really is absolute nonsense. I've been doing this job for 45 years, prosecuting, defending. No, they're fairly rare. However, Objection sustained. OK. Well, with, great right, respect, I've been in, uh, with great respect, I've been in even longer, 50-odd years. And with great respect, well, I've seen so many barristers. Uh, and with great respect, I wish I had a barrister uh, to represent my wife every time she's been burgled. We, the victims, don't have highly prayed barristers. We are the victims. And it's time barristers and the judges realise that. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's not as easy as that. I prosecute and I defend and I see both sides. And obviously, you've got to have fair trials. But you're sort of suggesting, nah, no one takes it seriously. Uh, the judges are too soft. The sentencing guideline, it's, it, that is just such, forgive me for saying, absolute rubbish. And I'll give you an example. My grandfather was murdered in 1963. He was sentenced to death. He was commuted to life because they were changing the laws. Do you know what he got? Do you know what he got, Di, in 1963? You're an experienced officer. What do you think? You tell me. What do you think he got? I have no idea. Seven years imprisonment. Now, for murder, the minimum is 15 years. If you are a, an habitual burglar, you go to prison for a long time. It is the Daily Mail reports who are just suggesting or saying, and I'm really surprised that you've, you've, you've lapped this off because it's absolute nonsense that judges no, are soft. I've been in, sorry, I've been in this system, as I said, for 50 years. I speak from... Well, you haven't from... learned an awful lot, Di, with the greatest of respect. You really haven't, because that's not how it is. At the sharp well, 
end of the business. The shark, well, how, really shark. Sorry, how long do you the think the average burglar gets? How long do you think the average prison sentence is? There's no such thing as an average burglar. Well, why and that's shouldn't the there first be? Thing. Why shouldn't there be because at least a minimum of five why? years? Shall I tell you why? Because a house invasion, when you're using violence, when you're using knives, and when you're using guns, the starting point is 12 years, and it goes up to life. But Soon they don't get straight, 12 years, get Jerry. They don't get no, 12 they get years. More. They get that. They get more. The ones, the ones I prosecute get more than that.